Hey, don't be alarmed. I don't think you're a spooky vampire. I'm not trying to ward you off. I'm trying to teach you about vertical angles. So, vertical angles. First thing about vertical angles is you need two lines to meet and make an X like this. So, uh, vertical angles are the angles that are on opposite ends of each other. So, if you want to think about vertical angles in here, there are two pairs of vertical angles with these two lines that I'm using, these two markers. It's the top one and the bottom one is one pair of vertical angles, and the left and the right are vertical angles. So, uh, that's how you can find the location of a pair of vertical angles. So vertical angles uh, usually come in pairs. So the top and the bottom are a pair of vertical angles and the left and right are vertical angles. You need to make an X to get vertical angles, okay? Uh, so, or a plus sign or some form of two lines that intersect. Next thing that's super important about vertical angles are there measurements? So I need you guys to pay special attention to my two markers right here, and hopefully it focuses. Uh, but if it doesn't focus, then still pay attention to my two markers. So look at the top angle, okay, up here, and look at the bottom angle down here. So top and bottom. And so I'm going to make the top angle a little wider. And as I make the top angle wider, what is happening to the bottom angle? it's getting wider also, equally as wide. Now I'm going to make the bottom angle skinnier, okay, or narrower, and then even in the blurriness, what's happening to the top angle? It's also getting narrower, equally as narrow. And then look at the left and right vertical angles. Right now they're pretty wide, they're really wide actually, pretty obtuse, and then if I make them skinnier or narrower, they both are equally as narrow. So, what can we say about vertical angles and their measurements? They're equal. So the top angle and the bottom vertical angle, pair of vertical angles, are equal or congruent. That's a new word, congruent measure. So, for example, if that top angle is 40 degrees, then its vertical angle on the bottom is 40 degrees. They are congruent. And the left angle and the right angle, they're vertical angles. That means that their measurements are equal or they are congruent. The word congruent, that just means equal measures. Lots of words today. Vertical angles, angles that are on opposite ends of each other in an X, and they have, they are congruent. There you go, vertical angles. So let's do some example problems so that you're able to get these correct on your next quiz or. All right, so this video, Vertical angles, what's in this video? Duh, vertical angles, it's titled vertical angles. So, quick review about vertical angles. Um, they, you need an X to get vertical angles and their measurements are congruent. Their, me their measurements are equal, that makes them congruent. Uh, so, remember vertical angles are on opposite ends, so if I put an arc right here, that means that its vertical angle, the one on the opposite end, is congruent to that angle. That means they have the same measurement. So for example, uh, let's say that this angle right here is 100 degrees, and that means this angle has to be 100 degrees. And if I took another color, uh, then that, these two angles right here are vertical. They're on opposite ends of the X. So I can put two arcs right here saying that this angle is congruent to this angle with two arcs over here. You don't really need two colors, but hey, let's use some colors. So uh, let's get colorful. Two arcs, two arcs, that means that this angle is congruent to this angle. And we could figure out what the measurements of these two angles are. We know that this angle is supplementary to this angle right here because they make a straight line, these two angles together. So this angle has to be, what, 80 degrees. 100 plus 80 is 180 degrees. And then these two angles are vertical. So they're congruent. So if this is 80, this has to be 80 degrees. Boom, vertical angles, congruent. If one angle has one measure, then its other, its vertical angle is the exact same measure. So equal measures, congruent. 
So let's do an example. Find the measure of angle B. Don't, uh, so again, make sure with geometry, um, you're able to filter out what you don't need and focus on what you do need. Uh, so let's focus our eyes. Oh yeah, press pause, put this in your notebooks. Unpause, okay, so let's look at this. Let's, let's highlight this line right here and let's highlight this line right here and just focus on the highlight. What? That's an X and what do X's make? they make vertical angles. And this angle is on the opposite end of this angle. So these two are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So B is 39 degrees. Easy peasy. This is 39, this is 39. 39, 39, congruent, vertical, same measure. All right, next example. Find the value of X. Don't get overwhelmed. Uh, use your highlighter. Let's see what makes this 43 and this 4x plus 3. I'm going to highlight this line right here and make sure that you can highlight better than me. And I'm going to highlight this line right here. Notice both lines uh, make the 43 and the 4x plus 3. And if you focus on the highlighting, both highlights make an X. And what do X's make? Vertical angles. Angles are on opposite ends of the X. So what can we do? How can we set this up? Since they're congruent, we can write 43 plus, no, not plus, not plus, equals 4x plus 3 because they're congruent, because they have equal measurements. Congruent means equal measures. Vertical angles have equal measures. Hence, they're congruent. That's why we could put the equal sign there. Don't put a plus sign like I initially did. It would be totally wrong. Uh, so. Let's get x by itself. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. 43 minus 3 is 40, which equals 4x. And the very last step, divide 4 from both sides, and x equals 10. That's our final answer. How do we know that's correct? Well, let's plug it back into here. If I plugged in x, uh, 10 into x, 4 times 10, plus 3, 40, plus 3 will be 43, and it follows our initial uh, conclusion, initial conclusion, that, uh, that vertical angles, the opposite angles in an X are congruent, 43 degrees, 43 degrees. So we know that X is the final answer. All right. Oh, thought we didn't have an extra one, but we do. So here's our last one. Find X, uh-oh, find X and Y. Uh, we have an X right here, but they're asking find the variable, um, <clears throat> find the variable X, okay, the value of X and find the value of Y. Let's just use our highlighter because geometry, it's pretty important that you use an, a highlighter so you're trained to see what you need. Um, and so we have an X over here, we have an X right here, and they are on opposite ends of the big X, the shape X. X is really a sh yeah anyways yeah they're on opposite ends so they're vertical so how can we set that up we know that vertical angles are congruent so 7x plus 30 is equal don't put the plus you only use pluses for other kinds of angles like supplementary and complementary uh, but we're using equals because they're vertical 7x plus 30 is equal to 11x minus 24 I hope you guys put this in your notebooks uh, while you're, and you're taking notes with me, it'd be nice. And let's get x by itself. Let's subtract that 7x from both sides. Now let's do a 2 for 1. Let's, uh, let's also add 24 to both sides. So these 7x's cancel each other out. Uh, the 24's cancel each other out. 30 plus 24 is 54. 11x minus 7x is 4x. Uh oh, do we have a, let's see, did I set that up right? Yep, 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 yep. So uh, just making sure. And 54 is equal to 4x. Yep. And divide by 4 from both sides. And we might have a fraction, guys. Uh, so x is equal to, how many times is 4 going to 5? 1. And uh, the remainder is 1. How many times is 4 going to 14? Uh, that would be 3. 3 and remainder is 2 fourths.
13 and 2 fourths or 13 and a half or 13.5. All right, so there is our X. And I'm just gonna double check because I did everything in my head. Um, and hopefully what I did was correct. 54, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how we check this? Let's get our calculators. And I know I said don't use your cell phone as your calculator, but this is the closest calculator to me right now. So uh, let's plug this in. 7 times 13.5 plus 30. So uh, let's use that. So 7 times 13.5 is 94.5 plus 30 is 124.5 degrees. Let's look at this one. <clears throat> 11 times 13.5 minus 24 is 124.5 degrees. So yes, these two angles are congruent because they're both 124.5 degrees. Uh, Let's do these two angles. Two vertical angles, so 5y plus 38 is equal to 17y minus 4. And let's subtract the 5y from both sides. And let's add the 4 to both sides. 38 plus 4 is 42 is equal to 12y. And let's divide both sides by 12. And how many times is 12 going to 42? Y is equal to 3. And the remainder is 6. 6 over 12. Or 3 and 1 half. Or 3.5. So both of these would be acceptable answers. Let's check that this is really the answer. So let's plug in 3.5 into into y. Uh, so <clears throat> 5 times 3.5 is 17.5 plus 38, which would be 55.5. Let's plug that into here. 17 times 3.5 minus 4 is what? 55.5 degrees. So both of these vertical angles are congruent. They have the same measurements. And just for fun, look at these two angles. This angle and this angle are supplementary because they make a straight line. So let's add 55, oops, that should be a five. 55.5 plus 124.5. Ha, <laughs> and they really are supplementary because they add up to 180 degrees. So that's how we know that for sure we're correct. Vertical angles, congruent, same measurements. So put an equal sign in between them. Don't put a plus sign. Vertical angles, equal. So put an equal sign. Okay. So those are vertical angles. Hopefully that uh, you understand this and you can get this correct on your next quiz or test or final or anything. Get an A on vertical angles. But don't forget your previous information on supplementary angles and complementary angles and all the angles and everything else. So one tip, as you learn new things, don't delete old things. Your brain can hold so much. Okay, so as you learn new stuff, don't forget old stuff. All right, that's Mr. Q and have a great day.